I'm not really sure what this video is going to be or how long it's going to be, but it's a video I feel like I want to do and it's going to be a very different video to anything that's ever been here on United People's TV, but I've got something important coming up and I want to sort of speak to you all about the last 12 months for me personally. Uh, and I'm doing this video for two reasons. One, because I feel it will help me to talk about it. And secondly, it's because I, I feel that this community that's been built here, nearly 200,000 here on YouTube, over 2 million on Facebook, I feel like I've you've you've helped me build this community and we're all together and I feel like I've got a duty now to, if I can help people, maybe speak. And I, that's what I want to do in this video. So I remember a comment that was left on a video a while ago that really resonated with me. Um, I've actually since emailed the guy, William, who left that comment. And he was just saying that over the last year or so that the, co the, the quality of the content's gone down and he was completely spot on uh, because a lot of things have changed for me personally and I sort of st st kind of stepped away from doing the sorts of videos I really enjoyed doing on on YouTube and that's why I wanted to do this video to explain what's really happened because the last 12 months has been testing for everybody and that's putting it politely coronavirus has forced society into prison and the sort of norms that people are used to the interactions that we're all we've all taken for granted for our whole life are all taken away from us and it's a lot of people have struggled and for me personally it's been a very tough year which it, well, it's still ongoing really but I wanted to explain what's happened to me because a lot of a lot of you were like why are you in Ghana and it, well, to be fair it was pretty random but I wanted to explain what's gone on so 12 years, not 12 years, sorry, 12 months ago. Um, well, I suppose none of you really know. I've, I got married in 2018. Um, I was with my partner for 10 years. And we then got married. So I was with her for like 11 years. And just out of nowhere, in March, she told me that she sort of didn't see a future with us. And that's, this is sort of right at the start of, of lockdown, which completely blindsided me. I had no idea it was coming, but it happened. And during the first lockdown, I was trying to sort of navigate that. And obviously still doing the video, still doing everything as, as it was. And after a few months of really trying everything within my power, I realized that I couldn't really stay in the UK at, the, at that particular moment in time. And the reason I really want to do this video is because mental health is a massive taboo instead of taboo instead of instead of stigma to talk about it and that's really why i want to do this video because it's talking is the best single best thing you can do and unfortunately for my now ex-wife um which sounds very fucking strange to say it really does but she didn't talk and she kept these ideas inside her head for over a year before speaking to me so before she even spoke to me i had no real chance of helping so that was why I was in Ghana, because I gave her the space that she felt that she needed, because I wanted to try and do everything I could, could to help, and obviously it didn't change anything. Um, and I'm still going through that process at the moment. But for me personally, that's a big reason why that comment resonated from William, because I've always taken pride in the content that I do. I'm always... Um, try to avoid the shouty stuff, try to avoid the loud, I suppose, clickbait stuff and try to make something that's a bit more researched and a bit more informed because it's, I'm, an, I'm a trained journalist. I, I enjoy doing that stuff and I think you all enjoy the content, hence why the community is here. But I have, I put my hands up and say I've struggled with everything that's gone on and unfortunately work suffered and for me, this is my career and, it, and it, it suffered because of it. But the single best thing I did when I was out in Ghana was I spoke to a, I spoke to a therapist um, off the recommendation of a good friend. I spoke to him and I spoke to him every single week and, he, and you don't think that it's going to help. You just think, oh, right, I'm just going to speak to him. He's just going to start talking about your past and he's going to blah, blah, blah. But as soon as you can speak to somebody that 
that understands what you're talking about because you're not the first person that they've spoken to about this. You're not, not, not in a horrible negative way, but you're not unique. Your situation is not unique. There are comparisons that can be drawn and, and lessons that can be given to you from other people going through similar things. And by speaking to him, prior to, prior to speaking to him, I, I had no real understanding of what went on because there was no real reason that my wife would say that to me. We were brilliant. Well, as far as I knew, we were brilliant together, but clearly there were demons under under the skin that I never knew about that were hidden from me that I wasn't, wasn't able to help. And that was because of her decision, unfortunately, to keep her demons inside. And that's why I'm saying that I've witnessed firsthand how bad keeping stuff inside yourself can be. And and I've experienced firsthand how beneficial it is not keeping things inside yourself. Because when I went to Ghana, I was I was broken. I was really broken. Like it really took me by surprise, and sort of everything that I had just sort of got taken away, which completely blindsided me. House is gone, wife is gone, and I didn't understand any of it. And I still don't. I probably, I probably never will fully understand it. But I've got a, a much better awareness thanks to speaking to somebody. And I think that's probably the biggest gain I've got is that awareness that I didn't have before. And that's why I want to do this video because I want to. If there's anybody that's watching that's maybe having not having similar thoughts, but it's keeping things inside themselves that's sort of eating away from you on the inside that it, it won't help. It, all it will do will turn a problem into a crisis. It will allow that problem to manifest itself inside you by keeping it inside you. It will just keep eating away. You have to speak to somebody. And another reason I'm doing this video now is because I'm about to have a pretty major operation on Monday uh, that's going to maybe change the content that's going to go on the channel for the next few weeks and I wanted to explain to all of you before that happens why that's happening because I think you deserve to know uh, because as I said I've I fucking love this community I, I love the fact that my job that I've built ever since I started the website well some of you might not even know actually the people's person was how I started it was a, a Manchester United website I founded back in 2011 grew into my job just because it was popular and then I started the YouTube channel back in 2015 off the back of it and both of them are still my job and it's brilliant and it's awesome and I love doing it but yes yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit different for the next I'm not really I'm not really sure but I don't imagine I'll be completely active f certainly for a couple of weeks anyway whilst I sort of recover it, it's, it's nothing life-threatening it's nothing, anything like that. It's, it's a choice, it's a decision I've made uh, to go ahead with a certain operation that, uh, that will probably help me. Otherwise, what's the point in doing it? But I think this uh, this video, I've been thinking about doing it for a while. And it's, you sort of keep your personal life separate. But unfortunately, because I'm on camera <laughs> and you watch my videos, it's hard to keep that separate because they they interweave. They link to each other, and it's very hard to present yourself as something on camera when there's something different going on inside. And I just, I felt, as I said, I, f I felt a duty to do a video like this to, because if it helps one person start speaking to somebody and realizing how much it helps and that suffering in silence isn't the right thing to do, then it served its purpose and. You guys have helped me a lot over the years in, in sort of the, the community you've helped me build. So, as I said, I feel a duty to try and help you all back. But I want to thank you all for, I suppose, continuing watching, continuing commenting. It's great. I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to start. I'm going to start doing some more live content, some more interactive content in the coming months. It's something I've been planning for a long time, but just hasn't been the right time. Uh... And obviously, uh, with this operation on Monday, it's, it's kind of going to set me back a little bit. But once this is all done, I can't wait to see what happens this summer. When the world opens up again, it's going to be 
it's going to be the whole world excited for life again at the exact same time, which is going to be brilliant to be part of, and I can't wait for that. But as I said, I think this video was something I'll probably never do again, really, on the channel. And I've thought for a long time whether this should live on my personal channel or live on the YouTube channel because it's so different. It's like, what are you going to put that on a on a Man United channel for? But I want it to be seen by as many people as possible because I want it to help as many people as possible. So I suppose that's it. I hope it sort of helps you maybe understand why I might have been different in the last year. Why I've, the content, I would agree, the content quality has gone down in the last year, but I'm really focused on improving that as the year goes on. It's bloody freezing out here, by the way. I should really have fucking worn, <coughs> should really have worn the jumper, but I didn't. But yeah, that's it. So if anybody wants to message me, my DMs are open on Twitter, at uh, SamPeoples underscore, message me. Email me. My email is sam at thepeoplesperson.com. Email me. I'll reply to all of you. But yeah, big up for everybody for continuing to watch. Uh, I'll be fine after the operation. As I said, it's not life-threatening in any way, shape or form. It's just going to take me off my feet for a while. So I wanted to explain this to you before that happened because I thought you deserve to know. And hopefully, as I said, I hope that explains it all. And I'm going to start waffling now, so I'm going to stop it. But as I said, if this can really help one person, then the video's done its job.